So we are going to use the Azure DSC extension to configure a VM. So the first step, we're going to have to log in to our Azure account. So the first command that we're going to use is publish dash Azure RM VM DSC configuration. So this command that takes in a configuration file, scans it for dependent DSC resources, then creates a zip file. The zip file contains the configuration and the resources that are needed to enact the configuration. Then that configuration is uploaded to a storage account into the blob storage binary large object. So I've created a simple configuration. I've got web server dash install. Um, the configuration is called web server. It's going to install on the local host and all this will do is enable the web server. So I already have the public IP of the server I'm going to work on. So we'll just have a look at that. If I refresh, you'll see we can't reach any web server that's installed on that server. So there's nothing on that at the moment. So I've set up some variables here to hold the particular components we'll use. So we'll need access to the resource group, the VM name, I call the VM test VM, and our storage account, which is TechSnip DSC demo. So we'll set up a hash table with the parameters, so the configuration path. So that's the web server install.ps1, uh, the resource group name and the storage account name. So we can have a look at the parameters that we've set up. Then we can pass those parameters into publish RM VM DSC configuration. So you'll see from the output that it's zipped up the resources that we need and it's uploaded those into our storage account. Now we can have a look in Azure, in the Azure console to check that. So I'm in my storage account and if we go into blobs and there you'll see our configuration. This means that we can use this configuration against multiple VMs. So the next step, we need to use a command called set Azure RM VM DSC extension. So this is the command that actually injects the settings that the DSC extension requires into a VM object. So in the parameters, we've included the version, the resource group name, our VM name, our archive storage account name, the blob name, which you saw in Azure console, auto update we've set to true, and the configuration name that we're going to run, which is web server, which you'll see for original DSC config file. And there's our parameters set. So when we run this next commandlet, set Azure RM VM DSC extension, that will actually go into our storage account, retrieve the settings and inject it into the VM. This could take a minute or two to run. So now we can see that DSC is returning status code of true and it's been successful. So we don't need to log on to the VM to check this. What we can actually do is browse to that VM as we've installed the web server, we should get the default web page. So I've already opened up port 80 and I have the public IP address. So now if we try and refresh, there we go. So that is confirmed that we have the web server role installed on that VM. So next, if we go back, we can use a, another commandlet called get Azure RM VM DSC extension status. And there you see we get some good information back. Basically, we're seeing the status the provisioning succeeded and we've actually got the DSC configuration log. So we can have a closer look at that log. And there we go, we've got great detail around what actually happened on that server during that DSC configuration. Thank you for watching this video.